Welcome to our slopecast from topic to full text, doing research in subject databases, level 3. This is a recording of the presentation from the course, from topic to full text, doing research in subject databases, level 3, the database. Do you have any questions about the content in level 1 and 2, the basics of research? We are happy to answer your questions. You can contact us via email. Please write to information at slup-dresden.de. How can you get location-independent access on licensed resources of the SLUP? Location-independent access to databases, electronic journals and ebooks requiring a license is only possible for members which means employees or students of TU Dresden. There are various authentication methods. One possibility is authentication via the SLUP user account. For that, you need to have a valid library card of the SLUP Dresden and be a member of TU Dresden. Another option is to access the network via your own computer. For this option, you also have to be a member of the TU Dresden and have a university login. With this login option, you can either authenticate via web browser using WebVPN or install the VPN client directly on your computer. If connection problems occur when using the VPN client, please change your settings by adjusting the configuration under Group to cTunnel all networks. If this doesn't change anything, it may be because the VPN client is currently very heavily used and the connection is overloaded. In this case, please try using the OpenVPN as an alternative. Here too, you identify via your university login. If you have any problems with your login data, please contact the Center for Information Services and High Performance Computing of the TU Dresden directly. All information about the installation and the settings in the VPN can be found directly on their website. To select the database that suits you best, please use the database information system. The easiest way to access it is via the SLUP website at www.slup-dresden.de. You can click here in the upper navigation on the element Research and select the submenu Databases. On this page, select the link DBIS Database Information System. Now you have opened the DBIS database information system. On the left side you will see a quick search in which you can enter the name of any database. Alternatively, you can select a database from the list of subject areas. Select the database and click on the link behind Start Search in the detailed view. Please note the access options for all databases. This means that if a database is marked with a yellow C, as in the example here, you must first log in to your SLUP user account as a TU member or connect to the VPN client of the TU. Now some general tips for your research and specialized databases. If you are using a database for the first time, take a look at the help pages, the search function and, for example, the use of the search operators in the database are explained here. Depending on the database, the use of apparatus can vary considerably. You can also use the search filters offered to further narrow down your search and thus easily specify your search results. Some databases also have a thesaurus. A thesaurus is a list of terms in which each term is assigned generic and subordinate terms as well as synonyms. You can use these lists of terms as a suggestion to get further search terms. Another suggestion is to write a research protocol. Write down when you searched, in which database, with which search terms and write down the results. This is particularly useful if you have a long-term research project because it spares you extra work. But how do you get to the full text you need? Not every database contains the full text you want to read. Some databases link to the publisher's website other databases only contain the bibliography. This means there are different ways of getting the full text. If the text is freely available in the database, you simply download the PDF and can use the text. If this is not the case, 
Check whether the full text is available via a license. Log in to your Slope user account if you are a TU member or connect to the VPN client. Then you can download the licensed full text. If this is not possible either, maybe even because there is no download button, please check whether we have the e-journal available in the Slope catalog. Here you can download the journal or article after logging in to your user account being a TU member or after connecting to the VPN client. What to do if the SLUP does not have the e-journal? Then please check our catalog to see if we can provide the printed journal. In that case, you can use the journal in the rooms of the SLUP and make copies for yourselves. If the SLUP does not have the journal available, then the only option left is to use interlibrary loan or delivery services and initiate an interlibrary loan order. Let me explain this in detail. Interlibrary loan and delivery services are a good alternative for getting literature that is not available at Slup Dresden. You can access the research and ordering portal of the interlibrary loan via the displayed link. Interlibrary loans are used to supply books and copies of articles from German and international libraries when the article you need is not available in any library in Dresden. The advantage of interlibrary loan is the low price of 1 euro 50 per order. In addition, the SLUP takes care of the return shipment of the books. So you pick up the book normally at the SLUP service desk and return it there as well. The disadvantage of interlibrary loan is that an order can take up to 14 days. As an alternative, you can use delivery services such as Subito. With Subito, delivery is independent of the location of the literature, which means that you can also order books that are available at Slup Dresden. To use the service, you do the research and ordering of resources in German and international libraries yourself. For that, you need to register with Subito beforehand. The books are delivered directly to your home. The advantage here is the fast delivery within a few days compared to interlibrary loan. The disadvantage is the higher costs that you have to bear yourself. In addition, you also have to bear the costs of returning the books to the respective library.